Okay, gang, now that we've looked at physical properties, the structure of carboxylic acids, oxidation reduction, and now recently how to produce them from using a Grignard reaction to attack CO2, I want to show you guys another way to produce carboxylic acids. So I'm going to throw up a reaction right here. I'm going to explain it. We're going to draw the mechanism and then we'll kind of summarize it, right? So if you take, so I'm just going to draw just a random nitrile, a random CN group, right? Just it's going to be one, two, three carbons long. If you are to put it in the presence of acid, right? So here I'm going to write this as H2, H2O, comma, H plus, or if you want to write H3O plus, or if you just want to write H plus, it's just in the presence of acid. The reaction you're going to do is you're going to transform this nitrile functional group into a carboxylic acid. So notice, right, I said our chain is one, two, three carbons long, right? But I'm actually explicitly drawing the C in the nitrile. But here, right, it's just one, two, three carbons, right? And then I just didn't draw the carbon, right? So what happened? Well, let's take a look at the mechanism. Because although this isn't something I think you'd get asked on a test or something like that, I think it's helpful to know. Sometimes when you know the mechanism behind a reaction, it just, you know, deeply ingrains it in your brain that much more. Okie doke. So, uh, let's do this in blue again. Okay, so let's see the chemistry at work. So, let's start out with our three carbon nitrile. I'm actually going to draw out the nitrile right here, right? C, double bond to a nitrogen with a lone pair. Okay, so think about you know, the environment, right? We're in acid, there's H plus floating around everywhere. And now think about what kind of functional group we have, right? We have nitrogen, which it is an oxygen, but it's definitely electronegative, right? So you can bet that when an H plus floats by, this nitrogen, he's gonna see it and he's gonna grab it, right? So I'm gonna draw, as my first step to this mechanism, we're gonna protonate the nitrogen with H plus. Right? So what that does here, we protonate nitrogen, and remember, he likes, you know, uh, a formal charge of five, but you can see one, two, three, four. We protonate him, that gives him a positive charge, right? Now remember, electronegative atom like nitrogen, he doesn't like to have a positive charge. So what's that gonna do for us? Well, we have water floating around everywhere. So what's actually gonna happen next, kind of like in carbonyls, right, we protonate the oxygen, to kind of activate the functional group. Now this nitrile is activated. So this carbon, very partially positive, he's you know uh, susceptible to nucleophilic attack. This water is going to come in. He's going to attack the carbon. And what we can do is just bounce one of these bonds in the triple bond on nitrogen, right? Because it's a win-win everywhere. We attack with water, and we give nitrogen a lone pair, eliminating the positive charge. All right, so I'm going to get one more over. So let's think about what we're going to draw here. So I'm going to draw the three carbon chain. All right, I'm actually going to draw the carbon. We have O with two hydrogens up top. He now has a positive charge, right? I'm going to draw, we have a double bond to nitrogen. He has a hydrogen and now a lone pair. Okay? So here's kind of like the protonate, deprotonate step, right? Because you see we don't have nitrogen in this final product. We need to get rid of him, right? So we want to protonate the things we want to leave. We want to deprotonate the things we want to stay, right? We have two oxygens here, so we definitely want this oxygen to stick around. So let's do that here. I'm going to have H plus get grabbed by this nitrogen, and I'm just going to have one of these hydrogens fall off, right? I'll just have a water grab him. How about that? So just, this is just a plus H plus minus H plus step. I'll write that in black. Plus H plus minus H plus. Okay. So, where does that leave us? Back down here. Still have the carbon. Now there's just an OH up top, right? And now we have double bonded to nitrogen. And now we have two hydrogens down here. Nitrogen has a pos or two hydrogens down here, positive charge on nitrogen. Okay, let's play the same game again, right? Let's attack this carbon, still partially positive, obviously, with another water, right? Another water. So let's draw him. 
let's attack, and we need to balance a pair of electrons, right? Otherwise, we're going to break the octet rule. So let's take one of these electrons and throw it on nitrogen. Didn't touch the OH up top. Now we have the OH down on bottom. He has a positive charge. Single bond to nitrogen, lone pair, two hydrogens. We want him to leave. We want to keep him around. Plus H plus minus H plus step. I'm just going to drop him. I'm running out of space. So somebody's going to grab that hydrogen. Nitrogen's going to pick up a hydrogen. Right? So OH up top stays put. We have an OH on bottom. And now, right, we have nitrogen with three hydrogens and a positive charge. All right, so we need to eject him. What's the driving force? Well, we have a carboxylic acid, right? We have a carbonyl. Let's swing down an electron pair and let's kick off this NH3. Let's kick off this ammonia, right? So I'm not going to draw this carbon anymore. So I still have an OH because I didn't touch him. Now I have a double bonded O with an H, and I just produced NH3. And you can tell in a quick cleanup step, I'll get rid of him, but I'm running out of space. So you can see that this mechanism is really nothing new to you guys. It's a whole bunch of protonated, protonated atom, attack a carbon that's partially positive, do a proton switch, protonate where you want to leave, keep or deprotonate where you want to stay, rinse, repeat, swing down, make a double bond, eject a group, and that's it. So just remember, if you want to take a nitrile and make it a carboxylic acid, throw in some water, throw in some H+.